Born and bred in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Frederick Stratton Jr. grew up near the corner of Downer and Capitol to become an unassuming man with a big destiny. His father, Frederick Sr., worked for Briggs & Stratton, a local company that his grandfather, Harold M. Stratton, co-founded in 1909. The company created to produce automobiles could not compete with the Detroit auto industry. They set out to fill a new need, and Briggs & Stratton became the world's largest producer of air-cooled gasoline engines for outdoor power equipment, an attribute the company still claims today thanks to the younger Stratton's leadership. He showed his passion early on and often joined his father at work when not in school. He still regards the publicly held company fondly as, quote, the family business. Stratton graduated with a B.S. in Industrial Administration from Yale University and would go on to receive his M.B.A. from the Stanford University Graduate School of Business and an honorary doctorate degree from the Milwaukee School of Engineering. In 1963, he was hired by Arthur Anderson and Company, followed by eight years with Robert W. Baird. Stratton officially joined Briggs & Stratton as Assistant Service Manager in 1973. He developed a reputation as hardworking and quickly advanced, making sure those around him understood the company's business philosophy as he did. In August 1977, Stratton was recognized for his maturity and vision when, at 38, he was named President and CEO. Sadly, this promotion came about due to the untimely death of his father and Vince Sheely, who at the time were Chairman of the Board and CEO respectively. Stratton would prove to be very effective in this new role. Globalization was creating critical challenges for the company, including the introduction of moderately priced premium Japanese engines, increased domestic competition, and mass retailers demanding lower prices. He reorganized the company into product-focused divisions and encouraged new, efficient plants and product design, which improved overall performance and expanded product lines. He prudently managed operating and capital costs, forming joint ventures in Japan and China, and increased company presence in other foreign markets. Briggs & Stratton managed to retain its top spot among small engine manufacturers, something Stratton views as his most important contribution to the company. In November 1986, he became the chairman and CEO, a position held until he retired in December 2001. He has been chairman emeritus since 2003. Briggs & Stratton evolved into a leading designer, manufacturer and marketer of home and standby generators, pressure washers, snow throwers, and lawn and garden equipment. Currently, the company employs over 6,300 with sales of $2.12 billion worldwide. Stratton shares his extensive executive experience as an active member of several corporate boards and remains involved with numerous nonprofit organizations that are committed to education, the arts, and historic preservation. In recognition of the man who ran this publicly held powerhouse with the attention and care reserved for a family business, we honor Frederick Stratton Jr. and proudly induct him into the Wisconsin Business Hall of Fame.